What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're hopefully going to have a good Aspen Dungeon run this time, because, well, we're actually using all the correct artifacts on all the heroes we care about, mainly AMB and Speedstones, to go first. Now, we're hoping this is going to work out, we're using Mark Purify here, uh, just in hopes that we can get past, like, uh, you know, those Amon Ra waves, and we're hoping the rest of our heroes with Control Immunity can help us on the Control stages, so let's chuck our our team in here and I think we're gonna go with Jara as well just because she does have a lot of speed and see what we get five demon potions feels really really bad uh, we do get some cloud island materials which is desperately needed we always want that cloud island material that is like the best stuff we can see plus stellar shards those two combined are amazing don't really care about any of that and yep more stellar shards and oh my goodness that's a lot of cloud island purchases I will take it uh, you know what? We actually do need spirit, don't we? We need like a lot of spirit. We actually don't need promotion stones much anymore because we just have more food than we need. And building extra heroes on an account like this isn't actually helping us anymore. Like we just we don't need to build any extra heroes. Uh, they don't really serve much of a purpose for us anymore. So we're mainly just focusing on those two. Now, order for Aspen. I'm thinking he's fast enough. Good lord, please don't have this be a mistake. Oh no, they attack first. <sighs> yeah, 151 up is a new type of power because, I mean, he's still running 2377. He's got a speed attack stone. He's even got level 2 gear, too. And he's sitting on what? Oh my goodness. He's got like a level 60 location, giving 120 extra speed. He's even a B minus copy. Like, I just, yeah, I, I, I don't know. 151 is going to be really difficult going on without our sword flash, honestly. That is like one of the main things we need here. I think we... Oh, man. Like, I feel like he's just going to kill himself here. I feel like no matter who I use, unless I get like a crazy round one active... Oh, man. This, this feels like a really bad... Oh, I hate this. I really, really hate this. Please don't tell me we wipe on round one pennies. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, it can be dangerous, but I think we'll be kind of okay in those situations. Um, Lord of Fear Aspen does have a crowd control. But we're going to have an active in round two. We won't be able to crit, though, if we are feared, which we are. Don't think it really matters. Yeah, no, not being able to crit didn't seem like too big of an issue. So let's just see how far our Doom Terminator Vulcan can actually take us here. If you can farm up energy, that'd be cool. His base attack does hit decently here. Now this could be a dangerous situation here. Oh God, yep. Luckily, we get some attacks. I was like, that that could have been a huge mistake with that energy drain. Oh, man, that energy drain can be brutal. So, uh, yeah, let's see if he can keep going on here. <laughs> man, even the basic can get really charged up. Now, the one downside of this hero is he isn't as good as you normally would expect from a hero this powerful because a lot of his power comes from enemies and allies doing things. Now, this one... I feel like we used to use our vests on these waves, but that was from 100 to 150. I feel like the last time I threw my vest in against this wave, we literally just died. What's our previous record? 169. Uh, we're still having gain in ground. Noah and Blub getting real close to that coveted 200. Man, I don't know. Do I go like a demon potion here? I think I do. This is a pretty nasty wave right here. Yeesh. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it without energy, honestly, but, um, yeah. Let's see if we can farm some energy on our Vesa. Oh, wow, our Vesa actually goes second now because she's not a householder, or at least a strong householder. Wow, that's a really weird energy bug situation going on right here. Uh, she should get a W. I don't think she's going to get energy. No, it's going to be an active to actually kill. Come on, let's let's see him farm up energy here. That would be perfect. 
All right, two basics, kill. One more basic, kill. No, it was so close. Sadly, we can't use any other cool artifacts either besides A and Bs right now, just because we need the speed. Now there is a Sherlock. We're gonna try to do a Star Swordsman Mockman and see how he plays out here. Luckily, there's no like Olivia. He is front row, so he does start in uh, ascending form, which is the defensive form. The counterattacks aren't bad though, and as long as he can survive a bit, now we're in offensive form. The next active could be huge for the W here. We're still counterattacking. I mean, not too bad. That that this that's not bad. I kind of like it. Plus, I love his animation right here. It's like perfect. Um, okay. I feel like they're gonna attack first no matter what with two Rogans at 159. Which means I feel like we do need an active skill here. Oh, they're gonna have defense down too on us. Although we don't really take much damage. I think we, mm, I don't know. We might've been able to get away without energy there. That'd be a little iffy. Now this is an interesting one too. I'm gonna try. Oof. I don't know. This could be a devastating wave right here. I'm, I'm contemplating throwing the Machman in because his counterattacks deal very good damage. But he has the strongest A and B. Let's just see. Hopefully we get crit in round one, honestly. Yes. Okay. We got the active. Sweet. That's perfect. If he can kill wa quad waves easily like that, I will love Vulcan for these pushes. Like, if you can get a round two active off, that's awesome. It's just really hard because the energy is bugging out. Let me leave Aspen Dungeon and come back in and see if it fixes it. Because, like, yeah, he had an active there, but it only showed, like, 60 energy right there. Man, those pandas hit hard. I almost wonder if running, like, Balance Strike is a better situation on these heroes as well. Just get, like, tons of healing. Let me jump out, jump back in. It redoes our order of heroes here. This is a very, very deadly wave here. Um, if you take it lightly, these Ithquas are going to shred you to pieces. i um, going to go in with an active. I just want a new record at the very least. Oh, that was not even a strong active. Oh, see, the Ithquas just melt your faces with defense down. It's ridiculous. Holy cow. Defense down is ridiculous when you have these Ithqua actives. Maybe I should have run the Mockman since he does. Well, I mean, he wouldn't be able to block because the Drake would be alive. That's an interesting scenario. I don't know. Well, we're going to throw him in and see what he can actually do now. I really hate the energy bugging too. It's so triggering. He does get the attack off the active, so he does get to do his counterattacks. Marax doing his Marax things, completely trying to obliterate enemies in one turn. Please don't proc. Oh, he procked right there. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This active needs to kill everybody or else we are done for. Oh, the burn. The burn at the end of the round actually killed us. No way. I can't believe it. I hate my team right now because it sucks so hard for Aspen Dungeon. It is just such a bad team right now. Without a sword flash, I feel like the goal of getting like the 200 is just so much lower. Oh God, Marax just slaughtering us. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if there's a point for us even trying from here on out. At least maybe not making any more videos about it. Because even with like the perfect AMB setups and everything, these heroes definitely have some glaring weaknesses. I mean, so much of this comes from allies taking damage and doing basic attacks and all this stuff that as a solo hero, he doesn't prefer perform all that well. So let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to run him much off, more often. We'll see. See you guys next time.